Hello everyone, it's your girl Lena and I'm back with another video. So today's video, I am not showing my face because I got a facial and my hair is kind of jacked. So yeah, I'm still working on this Beetlejuice poster and it's taking me a while because the pieces, they're not like traditional puzzle pieces. Eventually I'll get this done and you know, with the two jobs, I don't get to work on this puzzle like I want to. So, I wanted to address certain things. So, Chantal said, so there was a snippet of your mama's video where he featured my video on his stream. Now, I did talk about this in another video, but she said she was gonna do a reaction to that video but she ended up reacting to herself and she said it was clickbait and she started to work on the cop saying that Allah wouldn't want her to be raging against people wearing on the cop so fast forward to today she's raging again I don't understand what her frame of mind is how are you uh, still raging? Like it's, it, I thought yesterday you said you was not going to do that. So I don't get it. And uh, one thing I wanted to say for anyone that is curious about why I pause a lot in my videos and look like I'm thinking about what I'm going to say, that is because I have a brain well it's not really a brain injury but i was born with a condition called brain brain gray matter heterotopia that is a form of epilepsy and that causes seizures i haven't had a seizure in a while for all of you that suffer from from seizures you know that there's different types so I am able to drive because I haven't had seizures lately. So I am able to drive. You have to be six months seizure free. So I have been seizure free. But for those that, that suffer from seizures know that the more seizures you have, the more, depending on the person, it affects your long-term memory and short-term memory. Well, mine is shot. And part of my condition, which is gray matter heterotopia, it affects your memory. My memory is shot. I don't know if you ever spoken to someone who has memory loss issues. The worst thing for that person is to be speaking to someone and they could be mid sentence and they completely forget what they're saying. It is the must, the most frustrating thing ever not only that but speaking and then you start to stutter it is one of my biggest insecurities because for someone who doesn't know me personally I feel like oh is this person thinking that I am not educated it's a big insecurity of mine so when, so for anyone who watches my videos and notices my pauses, that's why it happens. So I'm not saying that because I need to explain myself. I'm saying that so when you encounter someone and they pause a lot or they look at you and they stare off at the distance, maybe there's a root cause there. Maybe there's an issue. Maybe there's something going on that you may not know about. So uh, I love to bring awareness to that and educate people on that. So with that being said, Chantal had a camping stream that she was camping with friends. And she, as well as Salah, they were holding kids and, and, and whatever. They were trying to look like they loved kids. I don't know 
haven't seen enough of Salah around kids to know if he likes kids or not. But from Chantal's history, we know that she th does not like kids. She doesn't care for them. She has said herself that she hates kids. I mean, people can change their mind, but Chantal has said many, many times she never wanted kids. She doesn't like them. And the way she was holding that kid, that kid looked uncomfortable. He looked uncomfortable. I saw on Twitter, it's people trying to say that she was a pedo. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that at all. People really need to stop saying that. I disagree with that. It, it, did it give me creepy vibes? Yes, but the kind of creepy vibes that the kid didn't want to be held by Chantal. That was it. That's the only kind of vibes I got. Like, like, and the, the vibes I got was like, lady, leave me alone. I want to go play kind of vibes. That's the only vibes I got. Like, let me go. I want to play. But not, oh, you know, pedo, nah. That people, people are, I feel like people are reaching with that. Now, she did in her video reacting to herself say, oh, I'm going under cop, like I said earlier. Because and I, Allah wouldn't want me to rage. Well, you are raging today. So what was the shift from yesterday until today? What happened? And then how are you going to dictate? So your mama did a expose video. I didn't watch it because... Like I said in my other video, which he cut out that part when he featured me on his video and he called me a moron because I took my time and I got a brain fog speaking, which it was not a brain fog. I mean, it was a brain fog, excuse me, as I was speaking and he called me a moron or the second thing he said, it looked like I needed to take a shit. No, I forgot what I was going to say, which happens to me quite often because of what is going on with me. But like I've said before, I have pretty thick skin. So things like that don't bother me. But hopefully um, if he comes across this video, which he probably will because he loves to search for himself. Hopefully he encounters someone else like me, well, hope if he does, he'll be a little more educated and take the time to be like, oh, well, maybe it can be that. Instead of assuming nonsense. She stated in her video, when I said she's in between religions, she cleared it up. She said that she was born Catholic, baptized, and that she was an atheist and she found God in Cuba. Now, I don't know how she found God in Cuba because she was drunk half the time, most of the time. I don't understand, like, was God in one of them liquor bottles she was drinking? Because she was drunk most of the time. I'm not sure. And then um, when it comes to the Muslim religion, from the research I was doing, and, you know, I have a lot of respect for the Muslim religion, and the Muslim people, you just don't say, wake up one day and not study anything and say, I'm Muslim. You have to study. At least if you want to start converting, you want to study. You just don't want to say, oh, I want to be Muslim and I'm Muslim. No. Or like she said herself, I follow Muslim pages. So that's what I've been reading quotes from. So that makes me uh, in between religions. when so people in the comment section and people take screenshots of right before her or Salah delete them and they try to give her advice and people being respectful, not the rude people, not the trolls, give her advice on, hey, you know, this are the steps that you should take if you really are considering you converting 
she says there's uh there is no right way to convert i'm going to do it my way chantal chantal you need to realize that there's only one way to convert and that's by reading the quran following the practices and the teachings of the quran is not by doing it your way this is not one of your fad diets you're going to piss a lot of people off. But those people that you're pissing off are the ones that you and Salah are blocking. And I don't, but because Salah wants his papers, and that's why people keep saying that he wants his paper, he's not correcting you. He's not correcting you at all. He's, he's going along with your nonsense. You know, for the call to prayer. You don't make no attempts to pray. He doesn't, like, if you were serious about converting, wouldn't he teach you how to pray? You know? Wouldn't he want you to learn how to pray the right way if you were showing interest in, in becoming a Muslim woman? In converting? I would think so. Like, hey, let me show you how to pray the right way. But um, that, that, that fur further solidifies what everyone has been saying. And you don't seem to realize. But now you want to cover your face and say, your mama made this exposed video, but he didn't rage about the right things. He should have said X, B. X, Y, Z, A, B, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Why don't you grow the balls and you um, do it yourself? I'm going to peace. Why don't you do it yourself? Oh, because you thought he was aligned with you and you had those two people that were really not in your corner. That were taught, were just recently talking about you, but now they're aligned with you. That will flip on you any second. And because he didn't rage the way, he didn't bash Yaba the way you wanted him to bash her. You want to be like, say, oh, well, he didn't, he didn't roast her the way I wanted him to. How are you now? I'm not taking up for him. But how are you to say who, how to tell someone how to run their channel and, and say what they want to say on their channel? That's not up for you to decide that's not for you to decide that is not so you are in a niqab raging again the thing you said you weren't gonna do but you're this changed woman and you're blocking people but you want new subscribers eventually you're not gonna have anyone left but you don't care. And then you lower your price to your channel. But you keep blocking people because you want a hug box. Well, I don't know how long that's going to last for you. Because people are starting to see with your actions what you're doing and you're going to push people away you're pushing people away with your actions and that's all on you and Salah you're telling people to go jump off a cliff with a niqab and a hijab on and you know please correct me if I'm wrong but I was doing some research and I know to become Muslim, they ask you, have you been praying or have you done the prayer? Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure. And that's all you need to do. I am, again, I am not 100% sure on that. Um, and, but of course, you got to read the Quran. You got to, you know, Ramadan fast and, and do all that. But you ha there's a specific way to be to to be Muslim. You gotta follow the practices, the practices and the teachings of the Quran, 
not do it your way. There is no have it your way kind of style. This is not one of your diets. And, you know, now I see why the Jewish community makes it so hard for people to convert to Judaism. They make it extremely hard for a person to convert that wasn't born into the religion to convert to Judaism because they don't want posers like you converting to Judaism. They want to make sure that you're taking their religion seriously and not taking it for a farce like you're taking you know, the Muslim community. Because honestly, I don't believe, allegedly, my this is my opinion, that she will continue wearing a hijab once they break up. I don't think she will. And if she does, I'll be very surprised. But anyway, that is, that does not go there. Anyway, I know you're tired of seeing me struggle with this puzzle. But that's my thoughts and opinions for the current shenanigans that Chantel is in. She's raging currently and not raging like she used to in the villa. But she has a more subtle way to rage. But that's my thoughts and opinions. If you uh, make a comment, please keep it classy and be respectful towards others. You can agree to disagree and always remember, take care of your mental health. There's only one you and this world would not be the same without you in it. Bye.